Hello and welcome to episode 4 of Modern Warfare 3 In Depth. I'm your host Drifter and today we're going over the G18 machine pistol. Uh, you should know first off I'm going to be comparing the FMG9 and the G18s a lot because the G18 it's just a Glock and the FMG9 is a 9mm Glock inside of a suitcase and folding stock apparatus. So the statistics on these two weapons are very similar but there are subtle differences. The G18 does 42 to 17 damage per shot. This is 2 more damage than the 40 on the FMG9 maximum and 3 less than the 20 on the FMG9 minimum. This makes it a 3 shot kill up close, a 6 shot kill at a distance, and 2 headshots up close can also kill. The shots at a distance is 1 less than the 5 shots required to kill by the FMG9. The G18 shoots at a very fast 1,000 rounds per minute. This is the second highest of all the machine pistols, just under that of the FMG9, and its damage per second is exceptionally high. However, its range is exceptionally low. It is the lowest range weapon that I'm able to see in the stats anywhere. Even the shotguns tend to have better effective ranges than the G18. The G18 has a very low magazine size at 20 rounds or 30 rounds with extended mags. This weapon is tied with the FMG9 for slowest reloads in the machine pistol category at 1.83 seconds. The only distinguishing feature of the G18, or the thing at which it does best, is draw and drop times. You can raise the G18 in 0.55 seconds or drop it in 0.50 seconds. This means you can pull out the G18 faster than any machine pistol. The G18 has very, very extreme recoil. Even though it's statistically very similar to the FMG9, the recoil has always been a lot worse in my experience. The iron sights are more difficult to use, and when hip firing it tends to kick up faster. I believe that this weapon has the worst recoil of any machine pistol. There aren't a lot of good attachments for the G18. If you use a silencer, your already low range will become even lower and it's going to take 6 shots to kill all the time, and 6 out of your 20 is too many, especially when your gun is kicking really hard. The kick and recoil, hip fire, or aim down sights makes it very difficult to hit your target, so the red dot sight doesn't help very much either. In my experience, there really aren't a lot of good attachments for the G18, however the two that seem to work the best, or work at all, are Akimbo and Extended Max. Akimbo will turn the G18 into a raw damage per second powerhouse, pumping out bullets like crazy. However, it'll also make the drag on your hipfire box about twice as bad and twice as difficult to control. Extended Mags makes your magazine size 30, or allows you to spray from the hip twice as long with somewhat less upward recoil. I can also aim down sights with it a little bit, just because I have a lot of time to correct, but the aim down sights is still pretty poor. My overall recommendation is that you not use the G18. It's outclassed by every other machine pistol in every other conceivable way, except that you can draw it very quickly. If you have a class that requires very quick drawing of a machine pistol, this is really the only one but that's all that this weapon does, so avoid it unless you really need it. Well, that's all for this episode of Modern Warfare 3 in depth. I hope that you've enjoyed it. Next up, based on the comments that you guys left on the Scorpion video, it looks like I'm going to be doing all of the pistols, USP, P99, Magnum, Desert Eagle, 5.7, all that good stuff, but I might take a slight detour to do the Riot Shield specialist package or have a go at Xbox Ahoy and T. Martin for uh, mistakes in some of their videos, so you'll see what's coming next. Who knows? Drifter out.